more independence for people who are blind or have low vision. There's a solution, technology that's being used in more than 2,000 places. And now, for the first time ever, it's in a state park. I first noticed vision changes in January of 2020. By June of 2021, I was declared legally blind. So a blind hiker by the name of Lane Johnson has spent many days hiking our park and really loved it. My name is Lane Johnson, I'm a hiker. It's still weird how I can't hear the water. The river's definitely lower this time of year. When I first got the diagnosis and I first let the kids know, my oldest son asked, Dad, is there anything you want to do while you still have eyesight? Which was the best possible thing he could have asked because that was the beginning of my blind bucket list. He came to park management and said, you know what would really enhance the experience for blind visitors is this new technology called Right Here. I'm Dave Myers. I'm the assistant park manager here at Natural Bridge State Park. So the app is really cool because it can tell you a lot of information. So right here, tell me what it can do. So as you come to the visitor center, Natural it'll, Bridge it'll State introduce park. the visitor, visitor center. center. Main entrance. Welcome to the Natural Bridge State Park. Like that. But the really cool feature about this is, is we have input directional settings. So when you face your phone to the east, you push the east. middle. Restrooms and stairway to base camp and Cedar Creek Trail. It gives you additional orientation. Talk to me about why you wanted this technology here at Natural Bridge. It's not just about here at Natural Bridge, really. It, it's uh, getting the ball rolling so that this becomes everywhere, so that we have the same access to everywhere that anybody else does. Its first owner, Thomas Jefferson, called it the most sublime of nature's works. It has inspired visitors for hundreds of years. What's the reaction been? People are really excited. We're getting many phone calls and we're having new visitors to the park we've never had before that are experiencing the park because of this new system. Three, awesome. It gives a person who is blind the ability to totally independently navigate a trail. Glenwood and Penmar Ranger Station, 12 o'clock. Spoon Mountain, 3 o'clock. I want to check out the app. Oh, wow. I can do it by myself. I don't need anyone with me. That's the sense of freedom that we're hearing from many of our users who are using it for the first time. Furnace Mountain, 1 o'clock. think that this has the potential to really increase my independence to navigate a trail or a situation such as this as a person who's blind. Natural Bridge State Park, 6,477 Esley Highway. I think it's a big game changer for a couple of reasons. Um, the visually impaired community, certainly. We have folks that come from all over the world to visit our state parks. The translation capabilities in this as well will help them experience the park as well. So this is an accessible spot. This is a Bluetooth beacon, and that's what allows our users to hear the audio descriptions of where they are. At 200 feet tall, the natural bridge is estimated to weigh 36,000 tons, or as much as 2,500 school buses. I think it's got a lot of potential to really enhance a person who's blind or visually impaired their ability to enjoy nature. What is it like to be the first one in the country to have this? It's an honor to be the first. We hope that we are an inspiration to parks across the world to look into technologies like this so all people, no matter how they, they experience life, can enjoy the park. Are there any limitations that you're finding with this kind of technology? Red Knob Overlook, 1 o'clock. Gilmore Mills, 7 o'clock. Let's put it this way, I don't think it's reached its potential yet. I think that there are things that uh, I haven't even imagined yet still to come through these beacons that are going to improve my quality of life and the quality of life for people like me in ways that I haven't even been able to conceive of yet. There are some other limitations with the technology, including cost and cell phone service. Because of where the state park is located and low cell phone service, sometimes the beacons have a hard time connecting, but eventually they do. Thanks to donors, this service is being paid for for the next five years at Natural Bridge State Park. Be sure to subscribe to Solutionaries to see all our latest videos right here on YouTube.